I chose AYC because I wanted to come to China, try to pick up some Mandarin skills and experience a new culture for a year after graduating. And there were a lot of um, sort of perks that came with AYC, especially like a free orientation and like they pay for your travel and the TEFL certificate. A former classmate of mine, I saw on Facebook the picture she posted in like one of the blog posts she did for AYC. And then so I contacted her about her experience and then we like video chatted and then so I thought it would be a good opportunity. So my favorite part about being an EA is the ability to explore China, see the culture, see how students are uh, here, and then also see what China in general the country is like. It's it's fun. I think there's always an opportunity to learn something new about the way people live and experience things other than myself. I love communicating with my students. It's the same feeling as what made me want to come here every time I talk to them. I feel a really huge sense of fulfillment inside because they get really happy when they're talking to me as well. This is a brand new school, so some of the students have a lot of English experience, others have very little. So um, I actually grew up outside the U.S. for seven years when I was young and I have like kind of experience with non-native English speakers. Um, so sometimes you, there is like a need to use a translator, but overall everyone's really helpful. You can get the point across. Uh, it's been great. I've made a lot of good friends here um, who don't always speak English, but it's nice to see that connections can kind of bridge the language gap. I have been adapting and trying to learn Chinese as quickly as I can um, while also using a lot of Google Translate and online translators. The enthusiasm they have for seeing a foreigner can become too enthusiastic and it can uh, distract them from class. They can be, they can have too much fun and that can be a, not a bad thing, but an obstacle sometimes. Literally just any opportunity you can to do anything, just, just, just take it. Like, I've, many opportunities came to me and I'm like, ooh, I'll take that, and that, and that, and I, I keep myself busy and I, I built a lot of good relationships over like the past three months. That's all I have to say. I would say to learn some key uh, Chinese phrases before you come here and to uh, try to explore as much of China while you're here as you can. One of my co-workers I've learned how to meet. I don't think I'm a good teacher yet, but I'm learning how to be a better teacher. And then also from the students, I'm learning more about Chinese and more about Chinese culture. So I'd say that I'm learning the most and then also learning more about myself because I've never like because I've lived abroad and I've lived in China before, but I've never lived in China before. So I'm learning more about myself and like I guess how I commit myself to certain duties or certain work. As I'm living here, I'm learning every day and with everything that I'm learning, it goes into my teaching. And it just goes back to that quote I really liked by Maya Angelou that I mentioned during my orientation interview. Um, when you get, give. When you learn, teach. And I said I wanted to do that, and I feel like I am doing that.